In the heart of downtown Broken Arrow, you'll find its charming Main Street, lined with bustling shops and restaurants. You'll also find a building here dedicated to those who have fought to protect this way of life for every American. It's the Military History Center. Brings back a whole lot of memories. When you get here and you're lucky enough to come across a veteran like Oscar Neves, they can bring the history to life. We made it into Manila and we was the first ones in there. That was during World War II, on the order of General Douglas MacArthur. Oscar was part of the 1st Cavalry Division, 5th Regiment. Oscar was just a teenager. And then uh, a few days later, we liberated 3,700 prisoners of war from the Santa Tomas University. As you walk through the facility, you notice that every piece has its own story, whether it's in a glass case hanging on a wall or a uniform on a mannequin. This is the uniform of Captain Brian Wheeler. He was a Tulsa area high school graduate. West Point graduate and JAG pilot, Captain Wheeler was among the first flying into Iraq in Somalia. Brigadier General Thomas Mancino says this 6,500 square foot center houses countless stories like that. There are more than 2,000 exhibits here and hundreds of books in its library. The museum is chronological, starting with the Civil War on into World Wars I and II, Vietnam, and more modern-day conflicts. I was fortunate enough to command the 45th Infantry Brigade in Afghanistan, and, and I was able to bring back quite a few things so we can tell kind of the story of Afghanistan. There are so many things to see in here, from weapons to personal letters, medals, and uniforms. The interesting thing about these uniforms, they're soaked in permethron, an insect repellent, so it helps keep the ticks and the bugs off of you even items used in everyday life. It's interesting to see the technological developments of military items over the years. I think that by viewing our artifacts, they, they can get a feel for the kinds of problems that the soldiers had and the progression of things. We always start them off with showing them the original gas mass in World War I. Lining the hallways are hundreds of models, meticulously crafted by two main donors. There are military vehicles traveling by rail and by road battleships and planes. You can see World War I and then these are Japanese planes, these are German planes, and American planes on top. The center opened in November of 2013 with help from the city, citizens, and private donations, all operated by volunteers. We have knowledgeable docents that will take you on a tour. You can self-tour if you'd like. We're open at 10 o'clock till 4 o'clock on Tuesday through Friday and Saturday at 10 till 2. A flag plaza will greet you at the door which honors those who have served and the many people who have helped build this military center. We fly a 40-foot American flag with the POW MIA flag under it and then a service flag for all the services plus a Medal of Honor flag and then to honor the 45th Division of the Oklahoma Army National Guard we fly a 45th Division flag. In Broken Arrow, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.